In the desert of far west Texas is a small town with a growing presence. Peter and I are Marfa bound and almost there. We have just about one hour to go. Marfa is home to around 2,000 people and has welcomed countless visitors from around the world and maybe beyond. What has attracted most of them? Art. It started with the work of the late Donald Judd. His creations can be seen from the road while driving south of town. Judd's iconic, large-scale, concrete art installations were the first works to be displayed at the Chinati Foundation, where art, architecture, and nature come together. Being around art inspired us to be artsy as we roamed around Marfa's streets. It felt like this city wanted its photo taken. Even an aerial picture of the ground looked beautifully balanced. During our time in Marfa, we refueled at this oasis, Hotel St. George. We learned about the history of this hotel from General Manager Emily Williams. Well, this hotel opened in 2016. It's uh, built in the footprint of a hotel that operated from the late 19th century into the early 20th century that was also called Hotel St. George. Today, this modern space offers 50 rooms and suites. This is one of their suites, and it has quite a view. And it's huge. It goes forever. Each room has artful touches and cleanliness in mind. Right now, Peter and I are sitting in the outdoor patio space of their event space. So this is where they can host weddings and parties, anything you want, they can have it here. Right in front of us is some amazing food that was prepared for us by the executive chef. Let's take you into the kitchen and show you how he made all of this for us in minutes. So I've been cooking my whole life, cooked my way through college and just kept doing it. James Bailey is prepping for dinner inside Hotel St. George's restaurant, La Venture, and he's about to cook us a feast. Everything he'll create will reach its perfection in here. And it cooks a little bit faster than a traditional oven because we have it at almost 800 degrees. So let's get cooking. Starting with our cacio e pepe pizza. So we start first by putting a light coat of olive oil on the base that we spread across. Then we get a little bit of our um, grana padano, cheese from Italy, and also pecorino romano. We put that right on the pizza, and then we put it right here in the oven. So the whole concept behind Italian food is using the best quality ingredients you can. We just garnish with freshly cracked black pepper right on top. And that's it? That's it. So this is my first time trying a dry pizza, and I love it. I don't miss sauce when you have this flavor from the cheese. So a lot of what the menu is right now is trying to focus on doing a lot of classic Italian preparations, but with some flavors of the desert. A little bit of olive oil right on top. Lamb farraginata. Mmm, <laughs> so good. I'm shocked how much I like that. These are shishito peppers. Oil and salt to start them when we put them in the oven. So here we are with the uh, shishitos. We get a nice little blister on them. So I make mezcal vinegar out of Vita Mezcal, a little bit of fresh oregano. And there's the shishito peppers. You just eat the whole pepper? Minus the stem. So the heat's there, it just, it's slow. To quench the heat, James offered this desert-inspired mocktail. This is delicious. Yeah. I start by steeping and infusing agave syrup with a bunch of desert botanicals. And then we mix the drink with that agave syrup, prickly pear puree, orange juice, lime juice, and then we put a nice little uh, tahini rim on it. I do a lot of foraging in the desert. Most people don't think of the desert as a place where a lot of things grow, but when it rains, there's a lot of things that flower and bloom. This is the flavor of the desert. Cheers to a great mocktail. And now, yum. We wrap up All right. with desserts. This is our uh, sweet potato cake with marshmallows. So this just goes with a little candy pecans, a little maple ice cream, and maple syrup. Kind of a little play on a French toast. Mm. That is incredible. Is that your idea? Yeah, that's, that's my idea. All these are my silly creations. <laughs>
It's important to know that for the full Marfa experience, you should check its availability before arriving. Marfa as a community has been very conscientious about COVID-19 safety precautions. When we stopped by, many of the museums were closed, but Hotel St. George offered us a warm welcome and this suggestion. If I were planning a trip to Marfa and the surrounding areas right now, I would be really enthusiastic about you know, bringing my hiking boots. Because the wide open spaces of far west Texas and the drive along the border of south Texas are great places to get outdoors and enjoy art in nature. So if you are looking for a great oasis to recover after a fun excursion in south Texas, you should check out Hotel St. George. Cheers. Go online to marfasaintgeorge.com.